Can we read Luke 12, 21 again? One, two, three, let's go. This, this is how it will be with, with, with anyone pause, who... Pause, 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 pause. You mean even a born again? You mean even a pastor? You mean even an elder? Let, let, let's read this again one two three let's go this is how it will be with anyone who does what who stores up things pause don't even rush to the end wait who stores up what things what is the problem with that equation the equation of the kingdom is seek first his kingdom his righteousness then all things but a person who's not kingdom is going for all things and he loses what the kingdom so today you have people in church who have things but they don't have the kingdom Let's finish the verse. Look at the verse. Let's finish the verse. This is how it will be with anyone who stores things for himself. Listen, but is not rich towards God. What is wealth? Richness towards God. Wow. If you are not rich towards God, you are poor. You tell me you have money and abundant city doesn't feel your money, doesn't know your money. You say you have a job. Do you know that most people don't even know why we work? A lot of people think we work so that we can have money. That's not why we work. I know you are hearing, but you're not hearing. We don't work to get money. In the kingdom, wealth is activated by the blessing. The blessing is released by the spirit of generosity, the giving spirit. If you are working, it's because God wants you to have seed. Let's start with, let's stick to the Bible. Listen, I never say a word that is outside scripture. When wisdom enters you, the knowledge of God is only what comes out. I don't speak outside the knowledge of God. Acts 20, look at verse 35. Acts 20 Acts 20 verse 35 I want all of us to read verse 35 can we all read this together one two three let's go in everything I did what did I show you I showed you that by this kind of hard work uh -huh. we must help the weak uh -huh. remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said What are the words? It is more blessed to give than to receive Listen, go and read the whole gospels You will not find anywhere where Jesus said this This was a direct revelation from Jesus to Paul I have read the gospels I don't know how many times You will not find this scripture the scripture you will find that he said was give and it shall be given back unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men pour into your bosom but this activation of a blessing it was revealed to apostle paul and this is the secret that apostle paul gave the philippian church i want you to listen to it it is more come on let's finish it we know it it is more 
blessed to give. It is more blessed to give. Do you know what that means? It is a curse not to give. You have injured your life. Listen. It is more blessed to when you are conditioned just to receive. You have killed yourself. Why? The blessing is activated when you do what? Give. Listen, Abundant City. Your name, you are abundant city. Do you know what that means? The spirit of generosity is supposed to be multiplied. Why? Your root is abundance. Yes, sir. There is no abundance without the spirit of generosity. Yes, sir. Meaning, this thing just needs activation. I know you give. Hear me. You can't be in this place if you don't give. You cannot have the excellence you have if you don't give. I know you give. But I want you to enter into it is more blessed. You see, you are giving because you are being taught to give. When you enter in the spirit of generosity, you are not told to give. You go to your man of God and tell him, I want to give. <laughs> Listen. The days are coming when as the year is beginning, you will go to Prophet Tuso and tell him, say, sir, what are the bills for the year? Why? Your kingdom. What are the bills for the conference? What are the bills for January? What are the bills for the first quarter? No compulsion, hear me. In the kingdom, we don't give with the gun. The church we read in 2 Corinthians chapter 8. Let's go back to it. You must see this. Now you see, because I have to deal with so many things. I, I, let me finish this thought. I was telling you to say you don't work. To do what? To eat. You work so that you can have. Paul has said, I worked hard. I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we should be able to have seed. Why? It is more blessed to give. Are you following me? Give me Ephesians 5, 29. Ephesians 5, 29. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Am I getting what I want? No, 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 no. Give me, give me 4. Give me 4, 29. 4, 29. Let's see what it's bringing. Go to 28. Go to 28. Let's read this. Tell somebody, if you're not working, you're a thief. If you're not working, you're a thief. Tell somebody, today you must stop stealing. Today you must stop stealing. Tell somebody, if you're not working, if you are not you working, you are stealing. You are Tell stealing. somebody, it's not Apostle Manasseh. It's not Apostle It's what Manasseh. God is saying. It's what God is Can saying. Can we read, please? One, two, three, let's go. He, he who has, has been stealing must still no longer but must work but must work doing something useful with his own hands why that he may have something to share with those in need why were we not taught this when we entered into christianity why were we not taught this Let's read it. I'm not making things up. This is Bible. One, two, three. Let's go. He who has been 
stealing must steal no longer but what must they do wait wait doing do something useful with their own hands pause pause because we are dealing with the school of wisdom you need to hear this someone here is saying pastor manasse i would really love to work and no one has given me job no one has employed me so this is kind of harsh on me do you know the problem with people you want to get a job that you are qualified for you don't want to get a job that your hands find your hands have been finding things you have been rejecting you see someone didn't hear me you went to school and you got a paper and you are bound to a paper you don't eat a paper a paper does not put food on your table what your hands find to do is what puts food on the table if your hands find blocks lift blocks if your hand find typing start typing if you find find knitting start knitting if your hands find baking if in the neighborhood people need to eat there's a construction company tell them i can provide lunch for you i cook good pap whatever your hands find to do don't tell me no one has given you a job the bible does not say whatever you are qualified for whatever you went to school for the bible says whatsoever your hands finds whatsoever yes, sir. your hands finds yes sir abandoned city no one here must be jobless everyone here must find what to do because you are stealing from those who are working because if you're not working the chair you are sitting on the person who works gave a tithe so you are stealing from people who are working tell somebody whatsoever your hands your hands find to do find to do now somebody say pastor manasse enlighten me i don't know how to find I don't know how to find do you know the God policy the God policy what is the God policy the God policy is that anything God does is good and when God finishes doing something it must be very good so whatever good you can find that you can make very good will make you money follow me whatever god does when he starts it's good by the time he finishes according to genesis 1 it is very good so the good policy says whatsoever good thing you can find that you can make very good will start giving you money so there is somebody who bakes cakes and you're saying somebody is already baking cakes so you need to look at the cakes that they are baking are good but what can you do to the good cakes that will make them very good you have taken over the market listen i want you to follow me because everyone must find a job everyone must start a business everyone must become self-employed everyone must start producing how service stations filling stations where you go fill up gas fuel do you know how we have every filling station with a minimum today it was not like that at the beginning but one person saw people coming to refuel and having their car serviced and he would see them standing without nothing to do while the car is being filled up then he began to think and this is what we don't like as believers we don't like to think we say when i think my head 
X. It hits. Tell somebody, push it. Push it. Tell somebody it can ache. It can ache. Tell somebody it can give you some pain. It can give you some Tell somebody, pain. but it will produce. But it will produce. Do you know that if you can think enough, what you have is enough? If you can think enough, what you have is enough. If you can think enough, what you have is enough. 